So today we're gonna talk about a business lesson I learned from the rock star and activist called Bono from YouTube. Marketplace skills are missionary skills. So I grew up on U2, <laughs> the band U2. I remember when the Joshua Tree came out, I was in high school and gathering up at one of my buddy's houses with uh, some of our other friends and listening to uh, that album for the first time, probably on a cassette tape uh, back then. Uh, but U2 has always been formative, right? They're, they were just like, they were the first really cool band that I liked. And, um, you know, the, the Edge with his guitars and how he got those unique sounds. And then Bono kind of had this, this poet, you know, vibe to him that, that just, the, the lyrics and just the melodies of their song, every, all of it together is kind of the, the uh, soundtrack, I think, of the, the early days of my life in so many ways. And one of my favorite moments is still U2 when they played the Super Bowl in 2002 uh, after 9-11 had happened. And they're, they're playing um, Where the Streets Have No Name and they had that giant curtain that came down behind them and every name of every person that passed away in uh, the 9-11 tragedies uh, went up as they were singing Where the Streets Have No Name. I mean, it's just, U2 has just always stuck with me. And, uh, you know, Bono became more than just a musician as things went along. He became really uh, kind of an activist of sorts with his, uh, his one campaign and his one foundation became a huge uh, proponent for fighting the AIDS uh, epidemic in Africa and then really fighting extreme poverty in Africa. So he was a, a rock star uh, on incredible levels, but he was also known for wanting to make a difference in the world, wanting to really see things change and become different. And everything Bono did really was focused through the lens of charity. It was focused through the lens of wealth redistribution and traditional methods of alleviating poverty and addressing many of these social issues. But I, I stumbled onto an article in World Magazine from this last fall that was really telling because as Bono has aged, as he has gotten older, he has started to awaken to the importance of business and entrepreneurship in really addressing the ills of this world. I'm just gonna read you a couple of quotes from this World Magazine article. Bono said, I, I ended up as an activist in a very different place from where I started. I thought that if we just redistributed resources, then we could solve every problem. And I now know that's not true. The off-ramp out of extreme poverty is UG. He actually says UG in the article. Commerce. It's entrepreneurial capitalism. And he, he said that with such disdain, right? And I think so many of us can, can find ourselves there, right? Business has gotten a bad rap. It has been associated with greed, with power, with all of these ugly things that we don't want to be associated with. If you look at most of the movies today, like the bad guy is some kind of business guy, right? That That is trying to leverage his wealth to, to gain more power and to push the little guy down, right? Like these are the images we have of business and commerce and that part of the world. And so Bono, he just had a a visceral reaction to that, right? Like, so the answer is, it couldn't be business. It has to be charity. And as the people of God, we are huge proponents of charity. Generosity is a huge part of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. But, but, if we really want to help those in need, if we really want to love our neighbor, I think we have to listen to a little bit of what Bono is saying here. We have to understand that business was God's idea and we have to rediscover, I think use our, our gospel 
imagination to, to throw away the sin hijacked caricature of what we have always seen as the marketplace and to return it to what God always intended from the beginning. Let me read you another quote from Bono. I did not grow up to like the idea that we've made heroes out of business people. But if you're bringing jobs to a community and treating people well, then you're a hero. So how can we bring some gospel imagination back to this idea of the marketplace as part of God's kingdom mission and vision for his world? Well, the first thing I think we need to do is we need to go back to the beginning. If we go back to Genesis 1 and 2, we actually see that the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. This idea of work and the marketplace and, and serving one another in this way, it actually goes back to God's original design and original plan that has been marred by sin, but is not the result of sin, right? So the first thing we have to do is we have to go back to the beginning. We have to go back to the beginning. The second thing is we need to reimagine business, entrepreneurship, the marketplace through the lens of the great commandment. So if we see business as part of God's design, then we realize that every day when we go to work, when we start a business, when we engage in the marketplace, we have the chance to honor God and love our neighbor through the work of our hands, through this idea of mutual service and adding value to the people around us, that the marketplace, business, entrepreneurship is actually a way we can fulfill Jesus' command to honor God and love our neighbor. That's number two. And number three, because of all of these things, right? That the, the, the marketplace is actually the perfect opportunity to engage the Great Commission to proclaim the name of Jesus to the ends of the earth, right? So when we are adding value, when we are pouring out from ourselves for the sake of others, profit becomes the byproduct and flourishing can begin to happen the way God planned and designed it. So we wanna see and reimagine the marketplace, business and entrepreneurship through the lens of the gospel. And I think at that point, like Bono, we can see the business world not as a way powerful people take advantage of the less powerful, but how God-fearing, God-honoring people can serve one another, add value to the world around them, to the glory of God, to the love of their fellow man, and to the proclamation of the name of Jesus to the ends of the earth. I think we need to take a cue from Bono here and reimagine the marketplace this way. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video with us today. We hope it's been an encouragement to you. If, if this resonates with you in any way, do us a favor. I mean, subscribe to our YouTube page here, you know, like, maybe comment. And if you wanna see other resources just like this, you can go to thestonetable.org forward slash start. We'll see you next time.